there Ray welcome to my channel I hope you all are doing well there's a few things I want to say before we jump into the video and they are regarding my mom first I want to thank you guys for your support on the Bee Gees video my mom did a reaction to one of those songs in that video so if you haven't seen it it'll be linked in the description box down below it was a lot of fun to film with her and for her to see kind of you know what I do in my room all the time <laughs> and then I got to um, show her how I edit it, it was really cool but thank you and I'm just really glad a lot of you enjoyed that video also I want to thank you guys for your understanding on me pushing this video back if you didn't see my post in the community tab make sure you go and check out my community tab I post there a lot but I told you guys that my mom was in the hospital she was sick and you guys understood which you do this a lot you guys are, are completely understanding and supportive and it is amazing I absolutely am in awe of it it means the world to me so kind of an update on what is going on and, and kind of explaining what it is that happened my mom in late December had pneumonia and she was put on medication for it we thought that it was kind of laid to rest it was over but it seems she was still having problems she felt like it wasn't gone and we all kind of had concerns about it then Monday night she started running a temp again and having some issues breathing and having other symptoms that she had previous when she was when the pneumonia was hitting hard so that kind of gave us a uh, yeah she is still battling this pneumonia so initially we were going to take her to the hospital but my mom is like me we try not to go we took her to our doctors the next day and while there she didn't have the greatest vital signs and just with all of everything combined the doctor just felt like sending her to the ER would be the best thing for her. They would be able to give her better medication and really get through the imaging and settle this better than just outpatient. So that's what we did. So I took her to the emergency room. She didn't have to wait long because that doctor specifically kind of had ties to the hospital we were going to. So she got pulled back pretty quickly and come to find out she was septic. And what that kind of is, is an infection in your blood. And dealing with this in a timely manner is quite important. We also ended up finding out that she still did have pneumonia. It was quite a severe case of it. She then got admitted into the hospital so they could treat the pneumonia. After that, they ended up finding out that she did have a pulmonary embolism, which is when you have a blood clot in your lungs. As of this moment, she is being treated for all these things, and they said that she will be able to go home soon, which is a relief to hear, but, but knowing all those things that she had going on, it's still a scary thing to know it was more than just pneumonia happening because we didn't think that it could have been more it just presented itself as pneumonia symptoms so she is again being treated for for the embolism and the pneumonia everything uh so that's a good thing again i want to thank you guys for understanding and you know, every time I've been up there since she's been there, um, the the team that's taking care of her is incredible. So that's kind of why I didn't do my makeup today because I uh, don't have time for that right now. <laughs> Anyways, that is kind of an update. I just really kind of wanted to give it to you verbally instead of typing it. So with that, I just thank you guys for understanding that 
she kind of comes first over my videos. If it was me, you know, I, I could kind of work through it. I do it a lot, right? But her, that's my madre. I, I will push back. I will push back everything when it comes to her. So that is one thing about me is family comes first. Always. Family always comes first. So thank you for understanding and you guys are just incredible and just I'm so thankful for your, having you guys as a part of my family so let's move in we are doing Bon Jovi today I want to thank Michael Brinley I hope I'm saying that right for the suggestions today I was initially going to do two songs today but with everything going on I'm only gonna do one and he did put a few songs down. I will do another Bon Jovi video here in the near future to make up for only doing one song today. And what song are we going to do? We are going to do Lay Your Hands On Me because that is the first song you suggested. With that, if you like the content I am creating, please subscribe. Hit the bell notification so it is turned on so you can get all that content. Like, comment, and let's jump into this.
That was good. I liked that so much. That that was great. Oh, yes. Lay your hands on me. Looking at the lyrics, I feel like I feel like this is the type of song that could be something different to everyone. Okay, you know what? That is every song. I know that. But I mean like my meaning for it could be different from yours. And there's certain songs that have that. Like, okay, I know you guys probably understand what I mean. But if you take the song Brickyard Road by Johnny Van Zandt, that song is specifically about his brother, the lead singer of Leonard Skinner, Ronnie Van Zandt my idol and that's it that you can't say it's about anything else because that is what it's about this song is not like that it could be taken in any way you want but so when i tell you what i think this song is about i always tell you i always try to tell you guys to be respectful most people's opinions are going to be different and just you know even if our opinions are different that don't mean we can't be friends, that we can't, that you should go to the comments and write hate or anything. If I'm going to respect your opinions, you can respect mine. Like, that is how we should be living in this day and age. Um, so reading this, I kind of feel like it could have two meanings. So the first one I, I think it could be is probably what a lot of people think it is and that's religion he's saying lay your hands on me you know help me lay my cards out on the table so it, it could simply be about that or another side could be in a more love sex type way and, and he could be talking to a girl and telling her that you know you're mine and i'm yours for the taking right now the rules we've made are meant for breaking you know telling him telling her who all he's like what type of person he is i'm a fighter i'm a poet i'm a preacher and i think he's saying this in the way of his music and i i think everything you want is what i need your satisfaction is guaranteed you know i i think it could simply be about about that as well i think it's the type of song that you could look at it in many different lights so let me know your thoughts and what you think this song could be about i'd love to hear about it now let's move on to the song itself i think this intro is fantastic and i love the drums the talking as well and then he says check this out which was really you know cool in in a way to make you kind of hooked. It's very futuristic in the way they were throwing in different elements in the way it sounded. Very futuristic. And then throughout the song they changed speeds and the transitions was so clean and beautiful. I just absolutely loved it. I love the piano there, the choirish chorus type sound. It almost does give it a a gospelish type sound, which is why you could almost definitely get a religious type meaning for it. I love John's vocals, of course. John Bon Jovi, this is the 80s, on point. I wish we could have the 80s back so bad. This song just pure rocks. It's also heavy, it's got the groove, great melody, Richie Sambora, which, oh, he is incredible. I just, I really enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun to listen to, and something I just, I think I just really needed something fun, you know? And I'm glad I only did one song, because this, this was just nice. It, it was... It's what I needed. I hope you guys enjoyed this song. Let me know your opinions on this song and what other Bon Jovi songs you'd like to see me do. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe and well, and I will see you guys in the next one.